Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Sprint. In this session, we are going to discuss about national income. So what comes into your mind when I say national income? That means when I add the all incomes of all the persons in a country, it may add up to national income. So we shall see what is actual national income in this topic. So what do you mean by national income? So national income is nothing but it is the total value that is money value of all final goods and services produced in a country during a financial year. Financial year means from 1st April to 31st March of next year. So that means when I add all the money values of all final goods, what do you mean final goods? There are two types of goods. One is final good and the other is intermediate good. So what do you mean by final good? Final good means which is ready for use by the consumer. There is no further production on it. Intermediate good means which undergoes manufacturing process and it is not ready for use. Okay. So can I call a marker as final good? Yes, because it is ready for use. So like that when I add the money value of all final goods and services produced in a country, I will get national income in the country for a period of financial year so national income of a country indicates the progress of the country if it is the if there is increase in the national income if there is decrease there is called deceleration or lesser growth in the country okay moving on to the sources from which the income is generated first we need to know before i calculate national income we need to know from which sources the income is generated in the country. So there are three types of sources from which the income is generated. So first is primary sector, next is secondary sector and third is tertiary sector. So what do you mean by primary? Primary means first. That means these people touch the raw material first. Who are those people? Agriculture and its allied activities. What do you mean by agriculture? Agriculture is a science of cultivation of soil. And allied activities means related to agriculture like animal husbandry, like poultry, fishing, all these. Okay? Dairy, all these come under allied activities of agriculture. Mining also comes under primary sector because they touch the raw material first. Okay? So that's why they come under the primary sector. Moving on to the secondary sector. The raw material from the primary sector is sent to secondary sector for processing in the industries. Suppose I want to make bread. Wheat is given by the farmer and it is made into bread by the baking industry in the secondary sector. Then what does tertiary sector do? They cater or provide services to both primary and secondary sectors. Okay, clear with this? So like IT, banking, transportation, medical, tourism, all these are services. They provide services to both primary and secondary sectors. Okay. So these are the three sectors which generate income in any in nation. Okay. What does father of economics say? Who is father of economics? Adam Smith. So he says economics is nothing but how they gain wealth and how they lose wealth. Okay, that is all economics. So what he has written in the book called An Enquiry into the Nature of Nature and Causes of Wealth of Nations in the year 1733. Okay, in 1770s. Clear with this? So these are the three sectors in which through which the income is generated in different sectors. Moving on to the methods how the national income is calculated. There are three methods to calculate national income. So first is income method, next